Hello, I'm back. <clears throat> it's 10.45 a.m. in the morning, still on Monday, um, December 20th, 2021. <clears throat> so I don't know if today is the, um, I don't know if today is the first day of winter. I don't know if it's between today and Wednesday, it's supposed to be the first day of winter. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> so last night, I think after 1 30, I was able to get me a little sleep for like maybe an hour or so, and then was up for a long time. <clears throat> and then, I, I mean, I got a little sleep last night, but you know, not totally and not perfectly. <clears throat> so <clears throat> they're back to causing the sleep deprivation again. <clears throat> the sleep deprivation torture. <clears throat> and I have a video that I just did on my phone. <clears throat> I, I just did a video on my phone. <clears throat> and, um, I, I don't know which is going to upload first, this one or the one on my phone. So, I mean, it was not fair and it was robbery for her to hijack my entire live stream, my almost entire live stream yesterday <clears throat> with, with all the threats and harassment. And it's like, these gang stalkers, they do dirty stuff to me and then try to get me sh um, censored and shut down for, for exposing what they're doing to me and then end up doing more dirt to me as, you know, persecution for speaking out against and exposing what they did to me. And then they want to try to get, if, if what y'all doing is right, why you keep trying to, why you trying to censor me and get me shut down? <clears throat> you know, why, why you trying to, um, get me shut down and censored? I mean, I was, I mean, I didn't even get to talk about, I, my, my life did not get to go the way I wanted it to. And I didn't really get to talk about what I wanted to yesterday. And, um, and that Shell Pros guy, I, I probably, I mean, I thought I did, but I should have screenshot everything he said, too. You know, so, um, so it's like when you speak out against narcissistic abuse, I mean, like me trying to do a video about narcissistic gang stalking. I mean, I, it seems like I got super bullied extra the month of October when it was supposed to be anti-bullying month. And they said gang stalking is bullying on steroids. And anybody who bullies falls into the category of sociopath, psychopath, and narcissist or narcopath. I guess the narcopath is all three. So, um... Last night, I was back to feeling those feelings of depression. I was back to feeling those feelings of depression. And, um, I, I mean, it really took a toll on me last night. I mean, I started to feel better. And see, I still got, I, I mean, I, I was gonna, like, my plan was to take a bath or a shower after I finished the live stream yesterday. And I also was gonna, I also wanted to be able to soak my feet in the, um, you know, those two buckets that I, that I bought, you know, I wanted to soak, soak it with, you know, a detox foot soap. And so, you know, I was so angry and depressed about, you know, what she put me through yesterday, you, you know, all those threats at me and stuff. And, and then people, as I said, and people were getting frustrated with me and exiting my life 
and stuff. I could have had more people, but they were getting frustrated with me for defending myself against her, against her harassment and threats. You know, they were getting mad at me for defending myself to, against her harassment and threats. So, but I'm surprised that I had more people than I thought. And, and they had some people popping in and out. You, you know, um, the most I had at one time was uh, 18 people. And I originally thought to have the live for... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if one or two people were going to show up. <clears throat> so I didn't know if one or two people were going to show up, but I actually got at, at the most 18 <clears throat> and, um, I guess it wasn't as interactive as I wanted it to be, you know, people, some people, well, you, you know, I guess they were too shy to tell their experiences. And, you know, they're narcissistic. I mean, basically, how their gang stalkers were acting narcissistic towards them. And they're, I wanted them to, like, have, like, an interactive discussion about um, how, how their gang stalkers could, could um, you know, how their gang stalkers have acted narcissistic towards them, pretty much. Because... You know, basically, the narcissistic abusers, I mean, they have perp mentality, you know, and, it, and it's like the people who are narcissistic abusers who are highly narcissistic and who have elitist mentality and think they're superior and think they're bigger, than, bigger and better than, and higher than God, they're, they're, the, main, they're, they're the ones that's... Um, you know, you, if you think you're bigger, better, and higher than God, then, you know, those are the ones who end up being handlers and stuff like that, you know, and, and super controlling and, and, um, you know, they think they own everything about you, but basically, um, my discussion, my discussion didn't get to go. I mean, I guess they want to make sure they have the power to do that, to make sure that my dis that my live video didn't get to go as planned, and I kind of didn't even get to talk about what I what I really wanted to talk about in, in a way that I really wanted to talk about it, y y you know. Um, so if I have you blocked and then you create another channel just to come and harass me and, and hijack and act like you think you've got authority and own my YouTube channel and my videos and stuff. If you hate somebody that strongly, go. But they they refuse to they refuse to follow my orders to go somewhere else. That if you have that much of a problem with me, go somewhere else. They don't. They're not gonna go anywhere else. But they think they run me and they think they rule me. And and you're some online strangers. Who act like you think that you're my parent and I'm your child, and you don't even y'all don't even abuse your own children like that. So um, they have certain narcissistic people that their own children they can't even discipline their own children, but they got such the handle on me. I mean, your own ten year old child run clean over you. I'm, I'm talking about any of these narcissistic perps. You know, you have a 10-year-old child you can't discipline or manage, but you want to try to discipline and manage another adult. So, um, when my anxiety gets high sometimes, and I get nervous or my anxiety gets really high, sometimes I might talk a little louder or get excited without realizing. And, and that's I heard sometimes that's, a symptom of my Tourette's also, you, you know, but, um, it's a, a damn perp thing to do when that narcissistic perp shell pros or whatever came into my life just to ask me, oh, if you have hypersensitive ears and you can't walk around noise, then why you talk so loud? That's a perp question. 
And then when I got defensive and um because I figured that was a perp question and I knew he was a perp. You ain't no targeted individual. <clears throat> and so I could not find this guy's profile on YouTube at all when I went to search for it so I can go block his ass. And so then he tried to pick an argument with me in my own live video and then and then turn around and say that um oh well I'm just trying to help you and I'm and, and then like oh this is a thanks I get I gave you a thumbs up. I said, Well good, go ahead and and undo the thumbs up and, and and you know if you feel like I talk too loud or if I'm bothering you then go to a different live go to you know go to watch another person's video you know so you're not gonna try to control or tell me what to do in my own live and your ass probably ain't even subscribed to me but then trying to talk about oh this is your problem and this is why people don't want to help you <clears throat> You, you, you know, trying to, trying to make like, oh, this is your problem because people are trying to help you or people be trying to look out for you. That's exactly what the narcissistic abuse, like, get the fuck, like, go somewhere. Leave me the hell alone. You know, so people who are not subscribed to me think that they can get another channel and hop on my, and into my live and, and then, you know, try to hijack and think that, and, and think they got authority in rulership over my channel and then i'm losing support by trying to fight back and defend myself against these against these trolls so all those threats that she's making you know oh just ignore her just ignore her well let's see how much ignoring i can do if i get banned from here and they think that shit is funny they really think it's funny, a joke, a game. <clears throat> so, um, I did not mean for my live video to be that way last night, <clears throat> you, you know, and but I appreciate and thanks the few who were supportive and stayed the whole time or you know came in whatever you whenever you could and stayed until the end i mean that means so much to me you, you, you know because i mean i thought i would have nobody no support at all but you know i'm thankful and grateful and glad for the, some of the people who did come in and be supportive and stuff you, you know but as I said, it seems like the so-called people in the TI community, they avoid me like the plague because of people like Jessica Ricketts wholeness, J Demon Rotten shit, and stuff like, and um, all the other perps who make up false videos full of lies about me and think that shit is funny. You know, they think it's funny <clears throat> to ruin and destroy me. And then calling me a fake target when you don't even really know what the symptoms, you don't know what we have to go through every day, but you know what you put me through every day. And I show people what I'm going through every day. So if I stay inside and don't go anywhere, I get all the online gang stalking, all, all the online harassment. But then I get all the the harassment in person if I leave out of here or if I'm out on the streets and everything. But see, J Demon Rotten shit, she already made threats to make me back homeless. And like she really got thinks she got the power to do that. Threats to make me back homeless on the streets. And then said that I'm go that she said she's gonna go to come to Pensacola and go down by the bay and, and come and beat my ass and stuff like that. You know, so but she keeps talking about you're doing this illegally and you're doing that illegally. But you can't go, you can't threaten nobody. And you can't try to get somebody's phone number without their permission. I didn't give you permission to get my phone number or my email. And then every time, you know, every time I go to, um, 
every time I go to like get on a new platform or join a new website, then she got to be the first to come in and, and subscribe or follow. And it's like, she, I don't even use my Pinterest much. I almost never use, I really never use my Pinterest anymore. And that's how I found out her last name was Ricketts because, because she, um, followed me on Pinterest. If you, she's even expressed that she hate, that she hates me and stuff. It's like, why would you be obsessed with another female? <clears throat> so, um, and she was the, and she used to make one making these abusive threats at me. She was the one who lied on me and said that I committed elderly abuse against Miss Brenda at the job. But Miss Brenda could try to threaten me all she wants. And, and, and I mean, somebody like Miss Brenda can't do me nothing physically. Miss Brenda can't whip my ass. M you know, she's super old and everything like that. So, you know, that day Miss Brenda had her arms folded and huffing and puffing and looking at me like she wanted to whip my ass and stuff like that. And I really think Mr. John hyped her up. But maybe she must have been mad at me for um exposing all their asses for perping and hanging out together i think that's the real reason why she was mad at me when i put the put them put their asses on video and and i and i exposed their asses and mr john had the obvious one the small orange head like at the bottom you, you know he wanted me to see that and then try to hide his face you know, but I really wish I could have got a, a physical, like, as clear as you can see my face right now. I wish I could have got, like, a video or a picture or some of his face. Y'all seeing his face clearly. But me trying to, you know, just keep my job and everything. It's like, how the hell you do workplace? My like, he was an obvious fucking perp. He, they could be lying about, um... They probably, for all I know, they could be lying about Mr. John working there three years before me. Why that number three? But they probably could be telling the truth. But, um, so, I, I mean, it seems like as if J. Demon Rotten shit picked up where shit's yuck team K left, left off because, and then shit's yuck team K star Bricker making it like as if I should just um keep quiet about all the things she's done to me just because she feel like she backed now she admitted that she backed off on stalking and harassing me and then she said, Oh yeah, I backed off and left Candy alone and and my name is still in her mouth. You know, so they're really trying to destroy me and do me in. You know, I haven't even, and, and then other so-called targets make it like, like as if I have a bad reputation for being a drama queen or have a bad reputation for being full of drama. Now, I'm the one who has the reputation for being a drama queen or being full of drama. You, you, you know, so, and that's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm trying to do. And I didn't get to discuss in that live that even other so-called targeted individuals act narcissistic. And then when you get into an altercation with them or you feel like, you know, that they're trying to cross your boundaries or be bossy and stuff, then they get mad at you and say you're the perp. And then they smear campaign you and act like a perp. You know, they turn around and act like a perp and lie and say that you're the perp and tell, tell everybody to stay away from you. <clears throat> you know, so um, basically I can't even get really any support. <clears throat> so if I'm back on the streets Friday, which seems highly likely, but there might, God might step in at the last minute and extend my stay here. I don't know. <clears throat> so these gang stalkers falsely accused me 
of um using religion as religion as a gimmick. And um my twin sister wants to call me all kinds of fakes and hypocrites because she's mad because I left that damn fake IDMR cult. She's mad because I left the fake IDMR cult. So um <clears throat> they brainwashed us to believe that all Christians are fake when they're the ones with the fake religion. But I had to find out there is a such thing as true Christianity. There is a such thing as true Christianity. So let me show y'all something. <clears throat> In the middle of the night, I said that, um, <clears throat> I said the narcissistic gang stalkers make the false smear campaign that I'm a fake targeted individual who's just trying to exploit the TI community for financial gain, clout, and attention. And so I said, thanks for believing me. Tell the truth. I'm a real TI. I got my proof. And I said, the rich narcissistic gang stalkers are threatening to make me back homeless on the streets again. <clears throat> I started to feel better, but now I'm back to feeling much depression and anxiety because of the online narcissistic abuse and gang stalking threats. Their abuse is the reason why I had this tooth abscess in my mouth. Had me a depressed and eating lots of ice cream to cope this year. Thanks, y'all the ones who did this to me. I wouldn't have this abscess in my mouth. If, if it weren't for y'all gang stalking abuse, that, which led me to comfort eat and be depressed and stuff like that. And also y'all keeping me forced on the streets where I can't have hygiene or bathe. You know, I can't brush my teeth when, you know, out on the streets. So that factored in too. And, and it's like, they want me to die so bad. They want me to die so bad. <clears throat> you know, and um, I'm not allowed to stand up for myself. And, and yet I have the false reputation of being the T.I. community drama queen. And other TIs don't even want to associate with me. And some of them even act fucking narcissistic. And I wanted to talk about that in my live video last night too. <clears throat> you know, and, and then they're the ones who flip and start acting like perps. When they get mad at you or when, when you have like a disagreement with them, then they think that they can turn around and act like a perp towards you or, or do some perp activity to act like they can try to keep you in line or try to teach you a lesson. And they treat me like a punished child. You're supposed to be a real target individual like, like me, but then you bossy and controlling and treat me like a punished child and you're no different or no better than the fucking perps. I don't understand. You know, you act like a narcissistic control freak fake friend, but here you showing your videos of being your targeting and harassment too. I don't get it. But then I heard there's a such thing as the fake TI perps or the fake, the people who are targeted individuals who flipped and became a perp. I heard that they're still being targeted, but I heard that their targeting is less, but then, you know, they got to be compliant with the program after they sold their souls, after they sell out and after they sell out. And if they, I guess, break the code, then they end up like having like nearly die in a hor horrific car crash. If, if, but then, but then you end up going back to perfect people. It's, it's not worth it to sell out. I haven't even sold out, but I know it's not worth it to do it. So I wanted to say that, um, I don't know if this video or the video on my phone is going to upload first. I don't know which is going to upload first, but my, my laptop was acting super erratic this morning. 
and the video on my phone could have been uploaded. But the thing is, I have the 30, 35 gigabyte limit of fast upload speeds, and now I've used over 50 because the the Wi-Fi in here is so shitty. So, <clears throat> um, I wanted to say that I woke up this morning with only one gnat in the bathroom. <clears throat> but I had like a few gnats in here and one of them crawled one of them crawled on my face and I was able to kill it. But I think the reason why the gnat and, and there was a gnat that um crawled on my computer on my laptop also. But the I think the me having the heater on and the, and, and the heat taking away the moisture I think that that might be the reason why they have less gnats, that I woke up with less gnats. I don't even think me pouring bleach down the drain, I don't even think that was helpful. <clears throat> but I guess it's supposed to be a couple of cold days. And here's another gnat. Damn. Right after I mentioned gnats. But I still have like a few gnats up in here. I have a few gnats in here. You, you know, and... But I have hundreds of them that died. But it's unbelievable. It's the worst gnats that I've seen in any place that I've lived, stayed at or lived at. The gnats when I was in um, Greenville, South Carolina, it was just maybe a, a small infestation or a couple of gnats or a few little gnats. But it wasn't like this. Me battling like hundreds and thousands of gnats for days up in here. So... I got the heater on, and, the, and the, the heater drying out the moisture, I think, is what reducing the gnats, even though I still have a few gnats up in here, like one just flew near me. So, um, I want to say again, I apologize for the disruption in my YouTube video live from those two people. And then there was a third person who I, I got defensive because I, I thought he was a perp, but later on he said he didn't mean no harm. Because it's like, I hate when a narcissistic people online, they do something like this. Voluntarily click on your video and then say, well, how did I get here? Well, if you don't like it, exit. You're not forced to watch this. You know, you're not forced, you, you know, you don't, you're not, you're not obligated to watch something you don't want to. But I just turned off the heater. But I just, I, I just wish that, um, I mean, it's like this, the whole, the, the almost entire TI community hating my guts really make me feel like as if I'm a bad person. And then it's like doctored up or manufactured that when you YouTube search my name, one of the first videos that come up is my twin sister saying Candy, doing multiple videos saying Candy Grand Prix is not a nice person. Now, if I do three or more videos T talking bad about somebody I lose subscribers but when people do videos talking bad about me they get all the support or their entire their, their entire channel is dedicated to me or they want to make just videos about me full of lies and everybody gives them thumbs up support like subscribe and all their videos is at the top and my videos are suppressed <clears throat> so <clears throat> if I was fake I wouldn't be so heavily suppressed and oppressed. I wouldn't be suppressed or oppressed if I if I was fake. I wouldn't have that many people trying to um shut me down if I was fake. But the actual pop and people think that just because you got a lot of likes and comments and subscribers, then that's supposed to be proof that you're telling the truth because you got millions of, of subscribers. But it's actually the other way around. <clears throat> you, you know, and I don't like people trying to control what I post. 
or they they got a problem with everything I put everything I do online. They got a problem and want to try to control and correct it. Well, you should just you know stay away from me if you got a problem with what I do. If you've been following me for two years and two years still trying to control me and you got no results. I mean, you got no change or no results in trying so hard for two years to try to control me. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm not a danger. I'm not a threat right now. I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm not trying to harm anybody. I'm just speaking the truth about what's being done to me. And y'all want to, like, whenever I, it's me exposing gang stalkers, I get told that I'm breaking the law. The gang stalk, the narcissistic gang stalkers themselves tell me I'm breaking the law. But the gang stalkers can film me all day and put it on the dark web. It's like these narcissistic gang stalkers, they're so freaking, they want to act holier than thou and self-righteous. You know, they want to be holier than thou and self-righteous to cover up all the wicked, dirty things that they do. But then that's like the Freemasons and celebrities have fake philanthropy and all these fake charities to cover up the satanic ritual sacrifices and all the evil that they've done. So, <clears throat> you know, all the stuff that they do in secret, why aren't a lot of these Freemasons on death row? Why aren't Freemasons on death row awaiting to be executed for their crimes? Freemasons and cults and, and, and Hollywood celebrities. Nah, instead, they, their ass is just getting fucking richer. They're just getting richer for their crimes. You, you know, so it's really doggone embarrassing, <clears throat> you, you know, um, I mean, so me exposing people trying to harm me and that's against the law, but you know, they want me to walk around. They want me to be in fear. They want me to be scared all the time. <clears throat> and, and, and it's like, they want me, they, they want to try to control and rearrange me and try to think they are my potter and that I am their clay. They want to try to force control and mold me. And then you made me this way. And then you're still not set. You're narcissistic enough that you're not satisfied with how you raised me to be. I'm talking about that fake foster mom, Adrian Felder, or any other narcissistic abuser that you raised me to be a certain way. Or, or you want to, if I'm already an adult and you want to try to mold or program me to be a certain way, you want to try to mold or program me to be a certain way. And then you're still not satisfied of the outcome that this is what you created. I'm not naturally crazy. <clears throat> you know, the foster care system put the entire back of my mouth has lots of feelings. And I do remember those mercury amalgam feelings, which is a neurotoxin. Neurotoxin. I got poison in my mouth. That's one of the reasons I heard that that's one of the reasons why I can't lose weight so so quickly and so easily. <clears throat> but I wish I would have known far back as 2014 the idea to put up a go but I don't know where I could have advertised you, you know if if I could have put up a GoFundMe to to go to Mexico to get all I mean, to get one of those not, those mercury-free dentists to take all these fillings out of my mouth naturally. And then, you know, I probably wouldn't even have hypersensitive ears no more. But at the same time, I don't know because I don't know if I'm, 
I, if that would solve the problem, but I don't know if I'm microchipped or not. The foster care system probably secretly microchipped me. I don't know. I've had no surgery at least twice in childhood. So, um, I had no surgery at least twice. So when they put you on, on I heard that I read somewhere that just about every nose surgery patient has a microchip in their nose and that's why they walk around with hypersensitive ears or hyperacusis. And then they, some some people try to make them, they try to, another way that they try to cover it up to try to say, oh, you can't stand chewing noises. You can't stand loud chewing noises or loud music or whatever. So you have a mental disorder I mean, you have a disorder called misphonia, which is related to the mental disorder schizophrenia. Now, y'all try to y'all try to use mental illness to cover up y'all unethical, non-consensual human experimentation. You know, the forced drugging. When a child does not have I, and the force, the other word too, that I can't even say that 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 word. that word i can't say it but yeah the forced drugging in the forest of children then um yeah i can't you know so and children don't get to have a say so and, and so I remember being a child and fighting the dentist because I didn't want those. I mean, it, all I knew was it hurt. And I didn't want to get those shots either. Growing up, forced against my will. You're forced against your will to be in a system. And they, and they you know, perform all kinds of MK ultra satanic ritual abuse and exper experimentation non-consensual experimentation on you and um you know try to cover it up as medical care and i heard that if believe it or not y'all can research it yourselves um i heard that dentistry has its role in mind control also they want you to brush your teeth with fluoride fluoride is the devil's poison fluoride is the devil's poison and you can't even, um, you know, you're not allowed to swallow fluoride. You can't, you, cause you can't swallow toothpaste. So why are we putting something in our mouths every day that we can't swallow? Or, or, you know, it will poison us if we swallowed it. And then we're getting all kinds of sick drinking fluoridated water and it destroys us spiritually on a physical and a mental and spiritual level. So, and it makes people apathetic and not care. Fluoride makes people not care. And it take, it's robbing you of your soul. Like when, when you think, when, when you see somebody heavily on psychiatric medications they'll get told that they look spaced out you know I, I throughout childhood i've been told i look spaced out or they will say that you look and i've been told it's too look like you got a glaze over your eyes when i was on those psych medications you know um and one thing about a narcissistic abuser, they're the ones who make you cry and then punish you for crying. Like you're not allowed to cry. Or you're not allowed to express emotion, but they can. And then they'll say, it's your fault, they're crying. So they're the ones who want you medicated so bad to dumb you down. And then they'd be the ones who call you a dumb fuck. But they're the ones who force you to be on this medication, this poison medication that God would not want you on. 
but they think they have the authority to force you on these toxic satanic you know medications that they themselves won't take if the if it's so good then why aren't you taking it you know you never took a pill a day in your life so you know i heard that some people's eyes look vacant or they look like their soul is gone you know or that their eyes look empty like or they look like an empty walking shell you wonder why how the hell would a three-year-old child or a seven-year-old develop the smarts to know how to tie a noose and hang themselves I heard they put babies as young as six months old on psychiatric medication and say that that baby has a freaking mental disorder because of, of, you know, quote unquote, fits and crying. But that stems from y'all putting fluoridated toxic, forcing people to have fluoridated toxic Similac. And, you know, the toxic Similac. Why, what happened to the natural breastfeeding that they want to try to criminalize? Criminalize breastfeeding. So then they force the baby to have Similac. <clears throat> and the parents, you know, are brainwashed to not eat naturally. And then, you know, it seems like they want to keep us totally enslaved with you know, our destruction. And then we end up going to hell and being destroyed for we, what we didn't know. But they want to prevent truth from, from being exposed to us. They want to hide the truth from us and then replace it with nothing but lies and blind us to the truth. And then we got to suffer and be punished for because of what we didn't know. Or we find, we wake up and find out after after we're too late and already in hell. This is so di diabolical and dangerous. This um, you know, and it's like you end up not caring, and then you end up questioning everything. When you're on psych medications, you be sedated, and um, then they punish you for sleeping. They punish you for sleeping. So if me being sleep deprived and just get a little bit of sleep, like if I probably could have end, end up like if I was on psych medications, I probably would have been more so in jail for sleeping in public. Because like when those psych medications have you sleep 15 hours a day or make you doze off, you basically have no control over it. And narcissistic abusers they're the ones who force you to take me these medications. They force you to take these psychic med so, I mean psychiatric medications, toxic medications, and then when you have the side effects of the poison, then you know when you have the side effects of the poison, then they want to punish you because say for example, your leg can be shaking as a side of un uncontrollable side effect of the medication that they force you to take and then they turn around and punish you and justify hating you even more because your leg your leg or say your arm is shaking like your hand is shaking like this because of um a or something got your hand shaking like this or the medicine might make you drool a lot like slobber and drool a lot or you know the medicine might make you have your head like this you, you, you know and and then that's a freaking side effect of that poison that they force you to take and then you get angry and have shorter temper end up more violent like because especially when you go to dealing with mental health people they they're demons in the flesh and and they narcissistic abusers who are highly narcissistic they gravitate towards that field they don't they're not there to help us mental patients they're there to punish control and oppress us but they go in lying and saying that they want to help people and once they get their position 
once they sell their soul and hoard their way to way to that position, you, you know, um, you, you know, forgive me, I'm having unwanted intrusive thoughts. But once they hold their way to that position, then they um. You know, I'm being attacked with unwanted thoughts right now. But um once they hold their way to that position, then they um maybe they they're implanting unwanted thoughts in my head on purpose so that I could get frustrated and end the video. But once they hold their way to that, that position, then th that's when the dis destruction and oppression begins. You know, because a lot of people that work in the mental health field, they don't have patience with P A T I E and wait, P A T I. Wait a minute. They don't have P A T I E N C E patience with the patience P A T I E. N T S. Me trying to spell too fast. I should have slowed down. But forgive me, I'm sleep deprived at the moment. So um they didn't have P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E -E with the P-A-T-I-E-N-T-S. They didn't have patience with the patients. So that's like why why people go into the field of working with children with disabilities. But then they abuse them and treat them bad. Or if you work in a homeless shelter saying you want to help, but you're that narcissistic, abusive, control freak, fake volunteer who just doing your fake charity for purposes of control rather than assisting and helping people to get better. You just want to control people and make and, and restrict people and make people miserable. Like why volunteer to work at a food bank and treat people like they don't deserve food. And then you give them the shittiest food and the least amounts of food. And then give them, like, if you give give yourself the best and the freshest food and you feel like y'all entitled to it because y'all volunteer. But y'all give us clients all the bad food. You know, and then if you're a targeted individual... You know, they'll give you reserved rotten food just for you in the smallest amount. And you wonder how is everybody else getting way more than you and the fresher food than you. And you're not allowed, you call, get called greedy if you try to question it. You're not allowed to try to question. So, um, They got some narcissistic abusers that that trick you into believing that they're the real deal. That trick you into believing that they have a conscience and a soul. And then you don't realize until later on how destructive they are. You know, so um And this was stuff that kind of stuff that I wanted to talk about in my live video yesterday, you know, and I apologize that it was hijacked and taken over, you, you know, by people who weren't authorized to do that. So, um, that shell pros per seemed like he come from my twin sister. Seems like he was sent from my twin sister. Oh, like as if he's... I, I never saw him before, ever, on YouTube. His name is S-H-E-L-L -L, and then P-R-O-L-E-S. So that was the one who tried to talk about... I mean, jump into my life just to say, oh, you talk too loud. Well, go go some fucking where. You, you know, so... um. Somebody just tried to call me. So, so I'm going to have to end this. So I'll see y'all in a while. Somebody had called me. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.